Hello everyone, Simon here from the Wales of Wall Street. Guys, we're looking at Multivac here, MTV. So some may or may not know out there, um, Frank, which is now the ex-CEO, can you believe it, of Multivac, um, stepping down in the last few days um, from the Multivac team. I was quite surprised um, seeing this news. Uh, at the timing now you know in life guys right and I've been there at times before in my career whichever sector that may have always been in and I'm sure many of you out there have similar principles and thoughts but there comes a time sometimes when you're sort of pondering life and maybe the the work balance life balance and things like these and other things maybe maybe your head's turned um by another company or you just don't feel it anymore and that's it's quite a natural human thing to be honest um and in this instance is always quite interesting because to be involved you know frank's been quite involved for, for a long time of course um you know being being the ceo uh and it's quite interesting because Multivax is on a really interesting journey right now, okay? It's a fantastic technology. Um, we talk about it quite a bit. We've done some intro videos to check those out at the end of this one when you get some time. Um, but for me, it's like, you know, this is such an exciting time. Um, but he does mention, there's a personal letter here. Um, I'm assuming he's written it, not any PR or anything. But um, very much talking about dedication of his life, the you older know, times that he's spent on this, um, and literally the last day of the year. So this isn't something that's come out of nowhere. He's probably planned this maybe for three to six months, probably. Um, but however, also ignoring my health and my family for too long. Next, I will take a rest. Well, first of all, we hope, and I'm sure everyone out there hopes, uh, you know, forget price, um, you know, things and everything like that um we've got to consider you know people's health okay um, mental health uh physical health whatever it may be whatever people need that is a priority okay work is work life is life right and um, so first of all i hope that frank is okay um and it's nothing serious and that it is possibly um to do literally with you know maybe um your know, health and, and mind well-being as well as spending more time with his family of course so really um crazy in the sense that um he's also mentioning here um you know that he's completely giving up all the rights and titles of multivac and no longer taking responsibility for any work of the foundation from tomorrow I believe multivac will have a brighter future with sean's leadership and the community's efforts it's a really strange letter um it's an open letter it's short simple and sweet in my opinion this could have been a lot longer if he wanted it to be um but yeah th this whole aspect of thanks all and happy new year and that's pretty much it you know all that work and dedication he's put into there a lot of people would um argue that yes sean is probably the better of the two to lead more back forwards from a communications perspective from an engagements perspective um, there's mention here of the average age of the new team, only 26 years old. So it's a very youthful uh, team, very energetic, enthusiastic. And of course, you imagine like Moivac and its growth pattern. Imagine five, ten years time, the experience that these these people around these sort of age groups are going to have uh, when everything really blows up in blockchain and, and scalability technologies such as Multivac um, and, you know, uh, all, the, all the various different protocols out there we just recently as well as I mentioned here the this the four billion staking mechanism uh reaching nearly that that five billion target is mental um you know the details of coming out of that very soon but what's interesting i was just reading here on reddit um someone was mentioning that um the amount of staking uh here has been reduced significantly uh, not massively compared to what it could be but it says here the top 60 stakers 94.5 million mtv has been unstaked um as a result of this news and um, that is seven of 60 staking accounts removing almost all of their holdings not as bad as they first thought but 
yeah very much um you know the, the price drop has occurred we'll go into that more detail in, in the charts but there's a lot of comments here um that suggesting like we just mentioned actually um ironically sean um you know potentially being probably the better fit but it's just um you know we can't d decide people's minds for them right so at the end of the day we've got to, got to respect people's decisions in their own lives like i said i hope he's healthy and well in the aspect that you know there's nothing seriously wrong um but you know this this is very um interesting timing and to take Moby back to another level perhaps um as he's mentioned in his communication so let us know what you think about this in the comments below what are your thoughts around this what do you think are going on um but for me multivac of course as a project isn't going anywhere it's still on the right track um and i'm sure like with many things when we look at charts and things like that you've got to sort of anticipate um anything can happen in this space let alone life in general and and other you know aspects of world work and careers right so anything can happen in this point in time um but there's always opportunities for everyone every cloud has a silver lining um and all that all those cliches come into play and look at this drop i mean it's not massive but what we've got to anticipate here guys this has already been nearly 30 percent reduction over the last few days after this nice little tail up um and literally that 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 kind of announcement's come out <laughs> on the on on the the days leading up there's obviously a few rumors have kicked in and then bang down we go um but like i said it's not like fully tanked um i think those that are sensible out there will understand that multivax a phenomenal project this is giving a chance for the team to regroup and like i said it's not going to be overnight they would have pre-planned this there's no doubt in my mind I can't, an organization like Movac and you know the opportunities that they have there's no way that they would not have pre-planned everything in advance team selections and the progress you know idea changes these things are always sometimes really good for projects whether it be crypto or, or other world environment working environments yeah so I'm sure many of you can relate to that out there but what I would be cautious of from an investment perspective from my personal opinion and what I'm doing right now, because I was going to add some MTV um, a few days back um, around these sort of regions, but I, I left it and it it rose up. I thought, oh, okay, well that that's done now. Um, I know it doesn't sound ridic, it does sound a bit ridiculous when I'm just talking about 0.02 you know, or something of a cent, but um, you know this tail down is is now dragging us back to a position. Let's just pull these up. Let's get rid of all these prices confusion. Um, we, we've now dipped under that one cent again um, and I think what we've got to be cautious of is this news is very new um, we're now as a recording and we just switched over here on GMT to the 2nd of January I think we'll play this out for a couple of days as the news develops more and more people are coming out of hibernation in the holidays and you know New Year's celebrations and stuff they might see this as an MTV investor me put off but my my thought process right now personally is i'm not selling anything um i'm going to be holding and i'm going to be accumulating and i'll be buying this dip tonight for sure under this one cent mark and if it comes down low i do maybe possibly anticipate this coming back down um perhaps uh to maybe even an eight a not point um not eight or a not point not not seven mark sorry i was getting my numbers wrong there um pretty much a seventh or an eighth of a cent we'll put it that way um and you see the volumes look at these volumes kicking in um quite quite big chart moves there um but like i said just keep an eye on that maybe in the next few days there might be some opportunities to snag some more and these staking opportunities as well now, in all honesty i haven't checked the um the multivax staking site I'll, I'll just load that up in the background while i continue to go through this chart as well but as you can see, um, you know, the development over the last few days hasn't been, uh, you know, particularly um, positive. Let's put it that way in, in the price point perspective. So we've just got to keep an eye on this, guys. Um, but yeah, like I said, let's just um, play it by ear. But the next couple of days could be very interesting. We're always seeing a narrowing on this MACD. Uh, hopefully it doesn't pull it all the way back but this histogram is showing a nice mirrored effect of the intake that we had 
from this point here on the 18th of December up to the 27th, 28th, 29th, there's no doubt in my mind that some of this, um, you know, has something to do, obviously with a bit of profit taken from the small rise that we had in those days, but of course then the news is triggered and we pulled it back down. But it's not, let's, let's just look at it realistically, it's not significant at this stage. Um, like I said, I think many sensible out there, knowing what Moivac is capable of, knowing that there's a team still there that's more than capable of taking Moivac to new levels and new ideas and thoughts and processes. Um, so this MACD, uh, from an investment perspective, very interesting to keep an eye on. And the RSI as well, um, pulling back down to 40 again. So we haven't seen that since sort of 24th, 25th. Had the nice tail up here to, I think we got to 54. Still not massive. Um, I still think we're going to have a bit of a correction organically anyway. And then another pull back upwards, hopefully. So right now, guys, like I said, I'm bagging some more tonight. And I'm definitely going to have a load of USDT in the pipeline, ready and waiting um, for a potential further drop. And look at that, weekly, 13% down. Not massive, but that could continue. 41% down the month. It's already been in kind of like a, a bearish mode anyway. And especially that three months, 44. So it's not gigantic. Um, but it's look at that, it's very much analyzing really what we've got in our RSIs right now from these top levels. So in my opinion, dragging back down to this topic of the 28 day and especially that 90 day looking really healthy. If that can drop down to maybe 45, I think that's where we'll probably see maybe 37, 38 on the 14 day. And I'll be biting like mad for MTV um, if I'm not already done so myself because I'm, I'm looking to bag as much MTV as I can. I missed the boat very early on this year. Um, but I just feel like these are now really good principles and opportunities for for MTV as a price point, um, you know, to, to to potentially get some really good gains this year as they continue to develop, um, you know, the project. And we've got to consider that this is really nice correctional area because we've got a lot of touch points back here in the whole of December so far, um, pretty much, and some areas in November. But we go back to our topic that we mentioned previously is we've, we've broken those barriers before up here in April, dropped down because it, it just simply couldn't withstand that. Um, but then we broke that area again back here on the 24th of August, went to almost pretty much price discovery mode. And it's just clear, MTV was not ready for these big numbers. This is just intake and, and excitement and stuff like that kicking in. But from a trend line perspective, we're now pretty much on par, really, where we should be with MTV on a longer term. And that's where we look really heavily at the RSI at 90 on 47. That's why I'm excited right now, because this is a great buy point in itself in general. But if it comes down a bit more, of course, even more fantastic to that 0 0.0087. That's probably where I'm going to put some buy markers in, because I do believe potentially we might drag ourselves back down there over the next couple of days. But if we get some stability uh, with you know lack of reduction volume like we're seeing here lost, yesterday quite a thin uh, candle today obviously uh, i don't know if this has started a new day today or yet or not um, but certainly looks like right now this could pull us back a bit further but we'll have to see how that plays out so i'm going to do another video guys on mtv um in a couple of days time uh, if anything critical happens we'll jump on a new one but I'll, i'm really interested to see the development of this and and you know where we might come but on the year look how positive that is we can't be angry really because we've had such a great move since this time last year i mean look at that let's go back to, to january here on, on the beginning of january look at that 0 0.0001 could you imagine stacking up back then and i thought um you know i th i think i was getting into mtv earlier it was a half a cent or something which i still thought was very good um, and even these points here where mtv will be in the future this is so so low it's unbelievable but guys let us know like i said in the comments below what you think about this situation going on in the mtv internal background and also let us know what are you doing with your mtv right now are you holding are you still staking are you concerned and dropping out let us know in the comments below what you're doing and we will um, take a look at a few of those comments in the next video as well. But until then, guys, thanks for watching. Loads of videos coming tomorrow uh, before the old work starts again on Tuesday. So we'll get hopefully some videos done on Monday as well. So keep an eye out for them. We're looking forward to stashing out 
hopefully at least 10 videos tomorrow i reckon we can do it see you then guys bye bye